So I could make this look like a solar panel and then plug it into something like a charge controller. So if you want to see how your charge controller works on a 12 volt solar panel, you could set this to about 20 volts output and maybe it's a 60 watt panel, you could set that to 5 amps short circuit current and you could add 12 volts from a battery bank and get a 60 watt 12 volt solar panel type output and you could check your charge controller and if you wanted to make a 120 watt panel you just turn up the current and if you wanted to make a 24 volt panel turn this up to like 38 volts you could mimic any size uh, typical solar panel with one of these just feed it with 12 volts or you know, if you wanted higher output you could put 24 volts in here and then set your output to match your solar panel and if virtual solar panel you could just put an on off switch and you could make your solar panel turn on at night because it's a virtual panel you, you're not limited to when the sun's out you could make it remote control add a little 30 amp headlight relay 12 volt DC since this is a virtual panel how about a solar panel grid tie inverter as your load instead of burning up hundreds of watt hours on a light bulb you could plug in a grid tie inverter and then just set your voltage and current get a certain power and your grid tie inverter will soak up as much power as you pump into it because it's pumping it into your house uh, grid so you could actually make this an adjustable load if you want to have a 50 watt load just set the current to put out 50 watts but I was thinking what would be neat is make this computer controllable and you could get an Arduino and get a Wi-Fi shield for it and you could fire in a MOSFET uh, relay driver to drive this or pick up a relay driver board to plug in and you could write yourself a little bit of code to turn this relay on and off from an Arduino. That sounds like a lot of work and I happen to have one of these. This is a Z-Wave appliance module, outdoor light and appliance module. This uh, talks over Z-Wave. It's kind of like Wi-Fi but you can control it from a home automation controller. And it's got a plug on one end, and it's got a receptacle on the other end that turns on and off via Z-Wave. One problem though is that's 120 volts, and that's a 12 volt relay. I've got a whole bunch of these. You can buy 120 volt relays that uh, switch DC current, but they're, you know, they're a little expensive something that's going to be switching on and off a lot like these relays they burn up after a while so it would be easy to throw this away and, and put a new one in so have a socket you can also buy DC relay Z-Wave modules but they're quite expensive especially in the high current range I don't think you can even buy a 30 amp DC Z-Wave relay but if I could take one of these and you know, somehow figure out how to plug it in there, it turns out there's a lot of companies like Philips make 120 volt to 12 volt adapters called wall walls. Plug one of these in, I have to get a, a, a little adapter for that. You plug that into here. You plug this into your relay, 12 volts, so everything's safe. This is a class 2 UL listed supply, so here's your 120 volts. Here's 12 volts, it's class 2 uh, DC power here. And you only need about 100 milliamps to drive a relay. And then you have your relay in line with this. And you have that going to your grid tie inverter. You could get an end phase inverter and, and wire it into your you know, 220 volt, 240 volt system and also control it 
from a little home automation controller. So that would be an interesting project. Make a virtual solar panel out of this. You can make it look like pretty much any solar panel you want. Set the coupon circuit voltage, your short circuit current, and apply power. And you can pump that power into the grid tie. You can use a meter like this to monitor how much of that power goes in. And that will give you your battery capacity. So if you wanted to you know, do a 20% discharge and, and then do a recharge or check the voltage after 20% discharge, whatever you wanted to do, cycle your batteries, uh, do a capacity test, something like that. So that's kind of a neat uh, idea.